Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Play Night on your PC handheld, on your desktop, on your laptop. Doesn't matter, as long as, as it run Windows, you can install it. And first, I'm going to show you first uh, if you would like this theme or not. This is my favorite theme uh, called Hero Theme on Play Night. And also, the reason I like it is because it's clean and it looks the most minimal in terms of like launcher i don't want to see ad i don't want to see like sponsor for example here so i'm going to show you first if you like it so you can decide if you want to install it or not so this is like this is how it look when you open it and if you press on a game it's like a tile game and they also have some like sound effect so if i press the game say that the two see they have some like like play time as well they actually tracking your play play time or like say my my like uh I just beat this like recent oh Final Fantasy Rebirth I just beat it for see it's actually tracking your playtime also if you use it on the Legion Go 2 it also has some battery see it's like a battery uh, indication so it's also good if you use it on a Legion Go 1 Legion Go 2 a Missile Claw Rock Ally or a laptop because you want to see the the percentage and also you, you can actually like turn off turn on restart all all of them just in here and another thing like the really cool thing for me is that I don't need to see desktop so if I want to play for example if I want to play horizon for example I can just go in and then click on play see it's not gonna even minimize to my desktop and then it's just gonna play my game gonna open my game see and then if I if I uh, close my game, it's just gonna close the game and then turn you back on and then you go to another game. So so I think I, I showed enough. So if you want to have this theme, so I'm gonna show you how, how to install it. So the first thing I'm gonna drop two of oh this I already set it up on my Legion Go 2, so I'm gonna show you how to set it up on uh, my PC, which is the same setup. So I don't want to mess up with the Legion Go 2 because I already set it up. So there is two files that you have to download. I'm going to drop the link in two. You can just click on them and uh, go to here. One is Play Night. One is the Hero Theme. So just go to Play Night and click on Download. And another is uh, Hero Theme and click on Download. Then go to your Download folder. And then uh, extract the, the Hero Theme. And the first one is you have to install, we need to install a Play Night. So click on Play Night and click on Options and click on Portable. This means it's not going to install on your PC, but it's just going to create uh, a folder in here. You search your PC name, Updata, Local, Play Night. So if you don't want this Play Night anymore, you can just navigate to this folder and then delete it. You don't have to uninstall it because it's not a, a uninstallable because it's portable. So, and then just click on install. So it's gonna download. And the reason I don't want to use the Xbox full screen experience as well, it's just that it doesn't look as clean as this. Look how clean this look. Like every, everything looks clean, look like a, like a proper handheld, you know what I mean? Like on Xbox full screen experience, I I just don't like the, the UI, you know? I don't know why they don't use the, the Xbox UI. Maybe like after a while, they're gonna have like custom theme like this on that i would use it because it's not coming to uh, legion go to official yet so when it coming to uh legion go officially i hope it's actually i hope it's actually uh have some other theme that it, we can customize you know right now it still look like a window so i kind of don't like that that's why i still using this and after it's uh installed it's gonna ask you like a first startup, click on next. And if your game has some game on Steam or Epic Store, you can just click on Steam and Epic Store and then click on next. It's gonna scan your, your game. For me, I like to do it manually. So I'm gonna untick all of them and click on next and then click on finish. After installing, you we go back to the, the download folder and click on the, the file that we extract, the hero theme, and then click on copy that theme and go to your PC 
and go to try see okay first if you're on window 10 click on view and click on hitting items or if you're on window 11 if you're on window 11 click on view click on show and then click on hitting items make make sure it's tick so you can actually see the the hidden file or uh, folder folder so click on uh, dry C click on users click on your PC name my PC is pork and click on app data click on local scroll down until you see play night and themes full screen and then paste that in here so after that just like exit it and go back to play night click on the play night icon click on uh, settings and uh, click on uh, launch in full screen and launch play night when your computer start so this is like if you want to launch play night like if you land it it's gonna launch in full screen Another thing is, if you want it, like if you open your PC, it's gonna stop. So if you don't want it, you can just untick it. I like to like all open my games and my uh, play night whenever I uh, launch my game, and click on save, and click on play night again, and click on switch to full screen mode, and then on the top right hand, click on that and click on settings, and click on visuals. And click on default that theme switch from default to hero the one that we just installed and we click on escape you can just press it twice or click on b the b b back so click on one two and then it's gonna ask you to restart now we actually got this theme well, we actually got that the same it's just that we need to add game Okay, first go click on setting, click on the, the setting and click on setting, click on general. And if you want to like show percentage like here, so show percentage and the icon, you can just click on. So show percentage, see, and then click on icon, it's going to show icon. So, and then make sure this minimize after starting a game, like untick that. So if you not didn't untick it, it's going to minimize when you launch a game like this. It's going to minimize the, the the app. So it's not as like a, what you call it, like a console experience. Make sure it's untick. So it's not going to minimize the, the play night, you know. So this is how, how it should look. Take two of this and untick the minimize after starting again. And click on escape or click on B to back. And click on visuals and click on show backgrounds image on main screen because okay I, I need to turn I have to close it first like show background image on main screen tick that box just it's gonna show this and click on escape again or click on B to back and click on layout and click on horizontal scrolling that just means you can actually like scroll it horizontal like this no? so after that we click on escape click on escape or click on B and go click on the, the setting and go switch back to desktop mode and then you we can add your, your game so I'm gonna add Dota 2 for example, click on the icon and click on add game and click on scan automatically. Go navigate to your game folder. So I'm gonna navigate to uh, my uh, Steam. I can't actually do that from the, the start, but it's just that I like to do it manually. So just go to your game folder or you just can track all your game into a folder and then scan all of them at once. I like it to do it like one by one. So I can customize the like the background for example and the 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 artwork. So and after that, just scan that folder. It's gonna scan your game. Sometimes it's not gonna show the the like the, the, the right name your game. Here it's supposed to be like Dota 2, but it doesn't show us Dota 2. I'm gonna show you how to 
like make it right. So make sure that you select the one that is actually like opening the game. So I'm gonna select this because this one is gonna open the game. So click on add game, it's gonna show here. So click on right clicking and click on edit and rename it to your game. This one is Dota 2, so I'm gonna rename it to Dota 2. And then I can click on download metadata and click on IGDB. It's gonna go to my game. This is like Dota. Click on the, the your right name, the, your game, and click on select. It's gonna updating everything. See, now we actually got a uh, art, the, the art here. So let's say I want to use uh, who? Let's say Phantom Lancer, for example. Click on select. And then, like, see, it's updating everything. And click on media. And then you see, if you don't like the icon, you can just click here. And then you can change the icon, see? Or if you don't like the cover, like this, this cover, you can just click on that. And then it's gonna, you can change the color, uh, the cover. Or you don't like that, the, the, the background you can just change the background to something else but I like it to look like this so click on save and then all done that's all we need to do we just have to go back to full screen mode click on the icon go back to full screen mode and that's it see and then you can just add all your game here and it everything's gonna look like this see so that's it. That's the. That's how you uh, do it. So uh, thanks for watching.